Good evening. Tonight, parents and students at One Valley School have lost their sense of security after a suspect was arrested for an attempted abduction. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. Authorities say someone tried to grab a teenager near Levitt Middle School. 8 News Now reporter Darlene Melendez is there with more on reaction and the school's message to parents. Well, Brian and Denise, this is the letter that Levitt Middle School sent home with parents today, letting them know about that incident and giving them some tips on what to do and how to stay safe if this ever happens to their own students. A terrifying moment for a Justice Levitt Middle School student Monday morning. Police say a man tried to force a 14 year old girl into his car. I'm pretty disturbed, honestly. Uh, I don't have any kids, but I can't imagine how scary it would be for someone who does. Ashley yeah. Clone lives near the school. She it's describes the area as peaceful and safe. I've lived here for like a year and a half and I've never heard anything like that happening. We walk at night quite a bit, even darker than this, so I'm going to kind of keep my eye out from now on. 8 News now obtained a copy of the letter sent home to parents Monday afternoon, stating that the attempted kidnapping, quote, serves as an important opportunity to remind students of safe practices when walking to and from the school and for students to always communicate with their parents or guardians. We always thought about it when we were younger. I would, you know, hang out with groups of girls and I guess we'd kind of just help each other out and you know, it's good to talk to your parents when you're young and parents talk to their kids as well about being safe. So. And as far as the suspect, school police tell us that they were able to locate and arrest a man that matched that description of the alleged kidnapper. His identity and his mugshot will both be released tomorrow. Reporting live, Darlene Melendez, 8 News Now. Darlene, thank you. Now, as for some of those tips in that letter, there are things we all know but can never stress enough. Walk in groups. Don't take rides from strangers. Always know what direction you'll run if you need to and think of a safe place you can get to quickly. And always try to get a license plate number if at all possible.